days after 34-year-old Nam Lee killed four relatives at a home in Clinton Saturday, late this afternoon in Hazelhurst, a group gathered outside the nail salon he and his wife owned and made a memorial. Well, folks in Clinton and Hazelhurst were stunned with this horrific incident, and WJTV12's Alex Love spoke with those at the memorial. He joins us now in the studio with their thoughts. Alex. Yes, for more than a decade, the hostage shooter Nam Lee and his wife Lan Tai Maivon brought smiles and happy memories serving Hazelhurst. But now those once proud customers sit outside a closed store wondering how this could have happened. Travel on. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Following a weekend of tragedy leaving five people dead, customers and friends of Nam Lee and his family celebrated their memories with a memorial at their nail shop. This parking lot was always full and today it's been empty just with people just driving through. Nobody parked there and it was sad to see. What now sits as a dark and empty shop where Lee and three of his victims worked is now decorated with symbols of life. What started as a few flowers and stuffed animals has just grown into a true memorial with candles and pictures just showing what this business meant to the community of Hazelhurst. You know, I put a smile on my face. He put a smile on my face. I come in there mad and walk out happy because he put a <laughs> smile on my face. I went there every two weeks and I spent about $38 and it was the usual. They knew me when I came in. So it's just a very very sad situation. Despite holding his family and children's babysitter hostage before shooting them Saturday, those who came to the nail shop saw Lee as a cheerful man who showed them kindness. Nam was really a good guy. He brought us cupcakes and Starbucks. It meant a lot to us. He, he just, he did it uh, several times. I've only been here six months, but he's done it several times since I've been here. One woman described to us the last conversation she had with him one week ago. His wife did my lashes and when I, you know, Play, they had the music playing and everybody was just laughing and talking. And when I left out, he said, I see you, I see you later, buddy. You know, and I never knew that'd be the last time I seen him. Lee and his wife had two children together who were rescued from the home during the standoff. We're told they are safe in, in the custody with their uncle. 